Aren't they the most gorgeous thing? Hey guys, what's going on? We're three months into 2022. I know there still hasn't been a video. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still growing hydroponic uh, fruits and vegetables. I wanna thank you for checking back in. A lot of people have asked. I've gotten comments, I've gotten messages. And thank you to all the new people that are here. I hope 2022 is treating all of you well. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys what's growing on in both the flood and drain system and maybe some of the in-ground stuff. All right, guys. Well, here is the flood and drain system. Uh, this is the same system that's been featured several other times. It's probably over here on the right side of the related videos. Immediately, you can see my banana plants have grown pretty big. Uh, over here, there's three of them and there's one over there which has uh, broken through the pot. Uh, down below, as usual, we have the reservoir, which I was just topping off now. It still needs more, and it's definitely due for some nutrients, as you can see from the color of this new growth. Very yellow, very in need for nutrients. Uh, we have some cilantro going to flower back here. Uh, you can just cut it back down, and it'll keep doing its cilantro thing. We have some dragon fruit here, probably going out the back over there, climbing over everything. Uh, several types of peppers here. Over here I have my little farm of cachucha plants. And let's see if we can show you where the peppers are. Uh, obviously it's just loaded to the top with peppers. Here's an, a ripe one. Oh, I pulled another one off by mistake, but here's a ripe one. That one tastes really good actually. Got some fallen over plants. This is another cachucha. These are very th thick stems because they've been here for a while. What we got going on back here? Back here we have banana, banana pepper. We have a San Pedro's cactus in there growing in hydroponics. Over here, these are my San Marzano tomatoes. They're not looking too hot because I know we're due for nutrients, but I've been harvesting a lot of tomatoes off of this. Here's more cachuchas. Swiss chard, looking a little droopy. We have another cachucha plant here. Over here we have uh, just some ornamental plants. We have blackberries. This actually seems rather loaded up now. Some more blackberries here, down that way. It's actually grown to the ground and it's uh, starting to root into the ground. So it's both in the ground and in the hydroponics. That was very pleasant. So this is what they look like. That was very good. This is what they look like when uh, they fruit and then they just eventually turn black because they're blackberries. We have some papaya here very small papaya because it's growing in what i think is a one gallon grow bag so smaller root system smaller plant smaller fruit uh, that shouldn't be too surprising let me show you what they look like when they grow up and this is what they look like when they grow up this is a big plant this is in soil and this is what it looks like when they ripen up We have some more over here. This one is a monster. Let's just get in here. Very nice flute, fruit. <laughs> the uh, flowers smell very pleasant when they're when they're flowering. Uh, we also have some other ornamental stuff here: asparagus fern. I'm gonna cut real quick, and I'm gonna show you some other in-ground stuff. All right, so we got this. This was behind me when I first filmed that video, uh, probably 30 seconds ago. And can you guess what this is? All right, close. This is passion fruit. I've never actually gotten a fruit off of this. It's only been here for about a year. It was a uh, little seedling that I planted down there. But let me show you. Aren't they the most gorgeous thing? So this is the flower, which eventually will uh, turn into the fruit. 
uh, if the conditions are right. But it's a very, very nice, beautiful flower. They look like this when they start to flower. These are the buds. And then they open up. As you can see, <laughs> it's going everywhere. Uh, there's probably some over here. Oh, this one's about to open. And it climbs up all this stuff. You can see it climbs up over there. I've trimmed this back a couple times. Let me show you how thick the stem is. I think at this point, it might just be holding up my fence. Um, my fence has seen better days. So I'm grateful for this plant being here. There's two main thick stems coming out of this. But we are in the rainy season now. At least we're getting there. And uh, it appears to be flowering everywhere. I see those little pods for the flowers. One last glance. We also have over here a little guava tree. Uh, this was much smaller when I got it and it was only one stem. I really don't know how to uh, handle these, so I'm just letting it do whatever it wants. Uh, this is a white guava, I believe a Ecuadorian variety. As you can see, the uh, passion fruit also made it over here and all throughout this tree. We have a fig. This was one in my one of my earlier videos. This was the one that was um, in the media bed. It was a very big plant and it's been here and it hasn't really thrived or done anything. Uh, it's got some spider webs on it. This is a brown turkey fig. And we also have one of my bananas um, that I planted here. I don't expect that banana to do much for a while as it gets used to this area. In here, there's some pineapples, some more figs. And there's actually the mother plant where I took the blackberry from, which is this one. It's been in this container for about a year and a half, maybe two years. Anyway, guys, that's a real quick little update. Not too much going on. I don't have those huge Dutch bucket systems that I used to have. I do have something coming shortly uh, that takes inspiration from Hucho on here. He may or may not know that I exist and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but he has a, a float valve system that I wanna give a go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you're interested in any of the products that i use they'll be in the description below but thank you guys for checking back in till next time peace